Hi guys, it's Nessie and welcome to another Tis Storytime video. Today we are going to be talking about probably the worst experience I ever had. And it didn't just happen like your regular restaurant, oh no, 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 no. It happened in the most trusted of restaurants, a diner. For those of you guys who don't know, I absolutely love diners, I love everything about it. That guy who has that show, Diners, Di Drive-Ins and Dives, or whatever that show is. He's literally living my life. Basically everyone on the Food Network is living my life. <laughs> I love everything about diners. You know, I love the atmosphere. I love the food. It's everything about it is just amazing. Sometimes I think that I live in the wrong era because, you know, my favorite things are like old. My favorite superhero movie is the 1960s Batman. My favorite movie of all time is The Wizard of Oz. Me, Brooke, Natasha, and our friend Danny, we decided to go to a diner because we, we've been looking for one since we moved to the Niagara region. We actually still have yet to find a good diner. One day we were, you know what, uh, let's get some dinner and let's go to a diner. So we went to the one diner that was kind of in town, which was an Angel's Diner. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer, I'm not saying that all Angel's Diners are bad. I know that it's a chain and everything like that. I'm pretty sure that they have like some pretty good reviews here and there. Just this one in particular was not really the greatest and I will get to that as to why. <laughs> first of all, when we walked in, it was kind of late at night so it was a little bit sketchy, but uh, first thing I noticed was they had a picture of uh, Marilyn Monroe and Elvis and like a bunch of other like uh, celebrities in there. This particular picture of Marilyn Monroe she didn't have her mole. Red flag number one. Now I thought like, you know, maybe it's just on the wrong side or something like that. Like, but it didn't because you could clearly see part of her nose, like right, like, it was something like this. And like, even if she was turned this way and the mole was right here, you could see it. Like it, or it was something like, I don't know. I've seen it either way. So I was just like, that, that was kind of weird, but you know, whatever. People. It's probably like a painting or something like that and someone forgot, you know, Marilyn Monroe's signature mole. So we went to sit down and, uh, you know, the rest of the, the place that was was um, generally pretty good looking, I, I guess. Like, I was expecting like some old tiny music to be playing, but there was. There was like, you know, pictures of uh, Judy Garland, James Dean, uh, like uh, Elvis, you know, like that kind of thing. And so overall, it was decent, I guess, for a diner. I didn't care as long as the food was good, you know, whatever. In the middle of uh, us uh, ordering, I saw that they had a projection going on and it was of a Netflix series. Uh, I don't know what Netflix series it was, but it was supposed to be some kind of nature thing. I don't really know. But then uh, <laughs> after the wait just left, I noticed that uh, it had clubbing seals and dead seals all over the ice and everything like that. Red flag number two. Ugh. But again, I kind of just like, kind of let it slide because again, I was just, well, you know, maybe it's just, they probably just thought, oh, it's just a cute nature documentary. You would think that they would be playing something like a Marilyn Monroe movie or something, but I keep saying Mar Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday, Marilyn. <laughs> At least of the day that I'm filming this, it's Marilyn Monroe's birthday. We actually got some milkshakes. When you go to a diner, you have to have milkshakes. <laughs> so then what ended up happening was uh, we had our food. It was okay. There was nothing really memorable about it. But then what happened was uh, Natasha, she ordered a burger. She couldn't finish it. There was like only like two bites left. Then the waitress came along and, you know, they, they say what all waitresses say when they see you haven't finished your food. Oh, are you gonna take that to go? No, it's okay. There's only two bites left. I'm, I'm really full right now. And then she said this. The way you scarf down that milkshake, I'll bet. Hey guys, oh no, no, no. She didn't stop there. It got worse. She then proceeded to turn to Brooke and then ask him, Do you want it? And then when the waitress left, we kind of just turned and looked at each other. Did she just call oh, you that? Total red flag number three. No. Bitch, you don't call my two best friends that. Like, I don't know. Like, why and how would you? Uh, first there's the friggin' Marilyn Monroe picture, and then they got the clubbing seal, and now they. Ugh. And the waitress came back with our bills, and then she apologized, thankfully, because then you know I would have given her zero tip instead of just a two dollar tip for me and Brooke. <sighs> I'm way too nice, but. I and I'm a student, so I can't exactly tip that well. We, it was like an hour before closing. They told us basically, they were like rushing us to get out. Just everything about that diner was just 
terrible. I wanted to complain to the manager, but they were she was the one rushing us out, so couldn't exactly complain. And again, I'm not saying that all Angel's Diners are terrible, but it was just that one in particular. I'm not going to tell you guys where it is, because who knows, maybe that waitress got fired after that. Who knows? I have a feeling they're not going to last very long, because their business didn't look very good. <laughs> so that was it for my two story time video. Uh, if you guys would like more, make sure you click that subscribe button and click like if you guys like this video. Soon I'll probably be doing some food related stuff because Brooke and I love food so much. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Keep filming Sparkle on.